A dialog is a window other than the main window of an application that pops up to either get information from the user or inform the user of some situation. Internally, a dialog has a parent window, which is either a top-level frame window or another dialog window. This is the show dialog program that pops up the dialog window. It's a frame with a panel that contains two buttons. The first button pops up the dialog and the second exits the program. To pop up the dialog, all that is necessary is to create the dialog object. It will pop up and wait for the mouse. This is the non-modal dialog class. It extends the dialog class so it has a frame and a window and can be popped up for display. It also is a component, much like the panel component, so you can insert a layout manager into it and construct a window. A dialog can be anything from a simple statement with an OK button, like the one we have here, to a complex window with dozens of components for data entry. It implements the action listener interface so its button can respond to the mouse. Now the first line of the constructor is a call to super. This is necessary because if you'll recall the default call to super automatically inserted by the compiler doesn't pass any parameters and it's necessary to pass the parent frame to the constructor of the dialog class. The dialog class has a number of constructors. In this program I chose to use one of them that also accepts a title to be put on the top line of the frame around the dialog. This program uses a border layout manager, has a label at its top and a push button at its bottom. Just to keep things simple, there is no other formatting, but any of the layout techniques we've been exploring could be used here. Now, there's only one button, and there's only one possible action to be performed, so here is a call to the hide method, which reverses the action of the show method and makes the window disappear. Here, let me show you what this does. I'm just going to compile everything in the directory, and that way it'll take care of both of these classes. Now, here's the main window. The non-modal button will pop up the dialog, <laughs> and the OK button will close it. Now, this dialog is non-modal because you can go ahead and do other things while it's up. In fact, you can pop up several of these dialog windows. Each one is independent of the other and independent from the main program, and each one can be closed independently. However, you recall that the frame is the parent window of the dialogue, so if the frame no longer exists, the dialogues go away, like this.